All right, here we got our 2001 Dodge Ram. This is a 3500 dually, uh, four wheel drive with a 5.9 and a six speed. Unlock, lock, key works the door. No fobs, just this one key. Infinity or just visit a store today to learn more. Here the radio time, sounds great. Restrictions apply, requires paperless. There we go. All these little fader buttons and everything work like that. Got good AC. Blower motor moves in all the speeds. Cranks right up. Do have a uh, check engine light. Uh, that's gonna be for the throttle position sensor. Uh, we can get you a diagnostic, a diagnostic scan if y'all want, or the code in particular. I'm sure it's on our inspection sheet. Some good wipers. And the both sprayers work. Here we got our flashing brake indicator. Just letting us know our parking brake's on. Releases without an issue. Clutch feels nice in this one. Not getting any crazy throw out bearing noise or anything. I'm just gonna kind of turn around, get a little bit of sunlight here. There we go. So all the way to the right and up will be reverse. Runs super smooth. Uh, no drivability issues at all. It's uh, really actually pretty fun to drive. There we are, that was a cold start. So we'll let it get up to operating temp as we do our walk around. Got our lights. Go ahead and turn that cargo dome light on. So you can see the brights are on. Click those off. A left blinker, right blinker. Does have cruise control. I will go ahead and test that it goes to defrost. Switches over nicely. Back down to our feet. All right was pretty good down there and then back up to the vents now yeah, we're getting not very much air let's try that right there yeah there we go was pretty good radio works we got 12 volt outlets up here a uh, little remote not sure what that's for This truck does not have power windows or power mirrors. That typically are little control knobs there. Oh, but it's got some great looking glass in it. Tint's very nice, no bubbles or anything like that. Got a couple cracks in this windshield, little chips. Got one right here. And then we got another one right over here. But super nice, everything's all there. You got a little bit of a loose dash, uh, just mainly this piece right here. Uh, kind of doesn't. I want to say most of the clips are kind of broken. They sell these full panels replacement, but the rest of it looks great. Looks really gay, great. These, not sure if they're. Yeah, they look functional. Exhaust temp definitely is. It's coming up a little bit. Super clean interior, seats look immaculate, a little bit of damage right back here, but as far as the rest of the seat goes, man, they look really nice. There we go. Adequate storage back here, pretty cool, it's got this little three-tier rack on both sides. Nice looking center seat.
this very large winch up here. Nice little transfer pump. Pretty cool. None of this stuff's really hooked up, to my knowledge. Uh, I don't see any. Well, maybe the transfer pump could be. Uh, we haven't tested it or anything. I know for a fact that uh, none of that stuff's hooked up. The little relays or solenoids are not really uh, complete. Sunlight's not really on our side today. Factory manual. Great looking door panels. This truck's super nice. Nice straight front end. Good looking paint. It's a little dirty at the moment. It does have its little flaws. That's a feather. Uh, but no major damage. But it's a little dewy this morning as well. Good looking chrome. Headlights are crystal clear. Super straight body. Probably get a little better sound quality with a actual antenna put in there good looking wheels nice tires got some signs of wear here in these rear tires but they're uh got plenty of life left and they're safe Fenders look really nice. Like I said, a little dirty at the moment. Got some scuffs here. Just water. Functional trailer brake down here. Super clean engine bay. Hood shuts nice and easy. Let's get some undercarriage footage and uh, we'll hit the road in it. Hearing that AC compressor cycle quite a bit. We've probably got some pressure issues there. I uh, will check that out. It's a better look at those back tires. Like I said, they got, got some tread left. Still safe. They're not, not really old tires, you know. It doesn't seem like a truck that was just sitting up. 
These are the uh, Discovery AT3s. Um, let's see what size we got here. 30570R17s. That should be a readily available tire. Rust free. This is uh, driver cab corner, man. Super clean, bottom of the doors. AC's not not too cold. Sounds like it's just a little low on Freon. Uh, those pressure switches typically trip once that low side gets under uh, the little threshold there. So we'll we'll bump some in it. Keep you posted. All right. Clutch feels super nice bites down there at the bottom that's kind of how I like them to feel all right let's get these windows up this blower motor turned down a little bit so we can hear our ride difficult to drive with a uh, <laughs> with a phone in your hand it's a terrible road we'll get it on the highway up here We've got a really great one Nice and tight though. Not hearing anything clacking around down there. Uh, no squeaking either. It's always a plus. We're just gonna kind of roll into it, get up to speed. We're high behind a big truck, so gonna take our time this time. the synchro I nearly put it in reverse there so and then we'll get into sixth decent old truck it's no 2020 but it drives nice and straight doesn't fight you man no no feedback through the wheel Brakes are nice and smooth. Shifts like a dream. Yeah, here we're doing about 75, 80. I'm gonna go ahead and try out this cruise control, see if we work. Let's see, set. All right, cruise control's on. Smooth sailing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if it speeds up. Oh yeah, and slow it back down. Okay. I'm gonna turn that off. We'll get up here to this parking lot, throw it in four wheel drive, and see what happens.
relatively quiet ride. skipping there. I don't know if that's me driving or what. I dumped the clutch and it's fine. So somebody in our little test pad over here but we'll just go around them now, this is a gravel pretty bumpy parking lot here as you can tell the truck the trucks really tight all right whoa I will right, we'll just go for low there we go should be in not seeing any like four wheel drive indicators or anything like that, but should be in four low. Oh, there we go. Took a little time, came on. Oh yeah, transfer case goes in smoothly. Low is super low. Go ahead and bump that up. Yeah, nice and smooth, man. The front end's locking in. Try it both ways there. Oh yeah. Cool. And we'll go four high. See what happens there. Should be it. Yeah. Still got our indicator there as well. Zero front end noise. Nice and tight. That'll for a drive indicator will come out. Let's see. Should be in too high right now. Yeah, there we go. Just a little delay on the sensor there. Our car eat park brake. It's not the tightest. I could use some adjusting. Our 2001 Ram 3500 5.9 four wheel drive six speed. 